Hello everyone, welcome back to America Truck Solo. Let me fix the map, guys, because every time now that you do that, it um, changes that. So, today, guys, we got a new truck that has come out over on the Steam Workshop. This truck is done by Harbin, uh, if I said the name right. This is the International HX520 2022 model. And I will go over everything with the truck, the engines, and everything once we get done with the run. We got 377 miles to go. I'm gonna get the job done. Trucks run a Cummins engine, and this is to take a look at the of just the truck. Good looking truck. Uh, it does have the same interior for the Longstar, which that may be the way it is. Uh, I'm unsure of that. Uh, pretty much the same interior, but it, it is still an awesome looking truck. Great job to, to Harbin for coming out with another awesome mod. Well, the one to down, we got 377 miles to go. I was going to try to find something a little bit shorter, but I couldn't find one no shorter from where I was already at. Cause I did run one low with the truck, just kind of get used to it. So let's go on the road. Go ahead and close that map up. And I will go over the engines and everything with it once we drop this load. Just, you know, so one can kind of see what um, Turn left. it comes with. Now, you know, I'm unaware if the truck is finished. I don't know if he's going to add anything or anything like that. I don't know that. It just was released today over on the workshop. And it is, it is also on ModSites.com. I did see it over there. So, for anyone who wants to use it, um, he may have also released it for ETS2. I don't know that. I haven't been over there. It is here. Awesome looking truck though. Also, if you have not heard, SCS has announced that cattle trailer will be a coming to ATS from in front of them. Which is something that's awesome. I've been wanting to put that along for a long time. So it's great to see that it is finally coming. We will get a thumbnail. Matter of fact, we'll go ahead and get one now so we can get it out of the way. This uh, beautiful truck here. Bring it in just a little bit here. Yeah, that'll work right there. Okay. Right. So we're back on the road. Awesome to see another truck come out on the workshop. It's been a while. We've lost a few that has been removed from the workshop. So it's awesome to see. You know, and hats off to Harbin, you know, for all the trucks that he is working, has been working on right now. You know, he has... This is about his fourth truck, I believe, that's out there, you know, for him. It's all the workshop, so, you know, add something to him. Bringing all these trucks, these mods out here. Also, guys, I am aware that I've had some questions about. Uh, I am aware that John Ruda has released his new cab over. Um, I don't run, and it's not the fact that I don't think that, right. that they are great trucks. They, they are. And these modders, they deserve to get paid for what they do. If they want to, I, I have nothing against that. I mean, it's their time, their work. That's what they deserve. You know, they want to get paid for what they should. But I don't buy too many modded trucks right now because I'm not I don't run too many mod trucks period so mostly I run SCS trucks so it, I just think it would be you spend twenty five dollars on a truck you may run it once or twice and then you know you're done with it. and to me that's kind of a waste of twenty five dollars so and I'm not saying that's how much the truck is gonna cost but you know just to me 
I just don't do that. And a lot of these, you know, these modders, a lot of these trucks, um, are just overdone. And what I mean by overdone is they, they put way too many options out there that I just use like Viper 389. Uh, a company that they buy a truck, you know, have that. It's going to be bone stock from whatever comes from the factory. That's why they're, they're going to order. Because they're, they're going to want to save money. By like this international right here. It, it, this this is the way that they would order, a company would order it just like this. It's pretty much bone stock, you know. Not too many add ons. But hopefully it wasn't well, and I gotta figure out why that's still... It's gotta be a traffic mod in there to call it I am using all the Jazz Cats, so one of his mods may be out of date or something. Hopefully it wasn't doing well, I hope you enjoying the content. Really been trying to get in and do more. Also, guys, I've been getting some questions. I've had some comments about why I haven't done any of a uh, RDR2 FR. Well, the latest version of Rage Point Hook, which is what you need for for the run, just like you do for LSPD FR, has not been updated. The last time I went in and looked at it, it has not been updated to the latest version of Red Dead Redemption 2. So, uh, we have not been able to do it because it, it doesn't work. So once they get it updated, and probably they'll have to update some call outs and stuff like that, I'll get back in and check it out again. Well, yeah, let me turn him, turn that off. Maybe. We don't need a money. We still got a ways to go. We got 300 miles to go. Still use an Xbox One controller. Um, I do. I, I do have a tracker R, but I don't have a camera. A uh, webcam. So right now my tracker R does not work. Just kind of being quiet, taking a look at this uh, beautiful truck and looking at the scenery. Um, it's like I said, it's just it confirmed pretty much that that we are getting cattle trailers because Wyoming is a big state for cattle, it's just like Texas. Um, they're a big farm state. Um, it's not surprising. I was really hoping to see one come. And there are some mods out there for um, cattle trailers, and, and they're great mods. And there's free ones out there, and, and they're great. But you always want to see something, you know, that SCS has done.
little bit longer run, guys, than I'd like to do, but it really didn't have anything shorter in the area I was in, so kind of had to stick a little bit longer, which is okay. I mean, it's not too bad, so I don't think it bothers too much. I do like the mirrors on this truck. They're a little bit better than the mirrors on the, uh, on the Mac. The Mac Anthem from this, that the mirrors are terrible on that truck. We gotta get over here. Also, guys, I um, I had some questions about the um, MHA Pro Map. Well, um, I believe the MHA Pro Map now has one the only paid version. Um, I have not seen the free version updated in a while, and it, it's not a lot of money. And, and I know that, and it's it's worth the money that he gets for doing what he does. He does a great job with the maps. Um, I don't do I don't do any kind of stuff like that online I don't shop online I stuff like that so I don't be I don't do that kind of stuff and it's not the work is bad the work is awesome it, it's great it's I just I just I don't do that Get in a straight area, we'll take a look at the truck. Have to really watch it. The truck will turn over. Got a hundred and thirty six miles to go. Got 
Take a look at that truck. Beautiful. Right now, guys, we're just kind of being quiet, right. enjoying the ride. Be extra careful, like I said. This this truck has a tendency to try to overlay you. You have to be real careful. I hit the wrong button. Always hitting the wrong button. We got a hundred ten miles to go. This is our, my second profile, guys. This is the one I mostly use. Um, the uh, modded trucks. Sometimes I don't use modded trucks. So I'll go back and just use SCS trucks. I, I keep some SCS trucks over here because I, I do want to get in here and use this profile because this is one I have the coast coast map on, and you know the modded trucks are not working. I can still run it because I'll have a SCS truck sitting there waiting. So. Kind of looking around here.
I am still using Jazzy Cat's trailer pack. It has been updated. The military trailer pack has been updated. All his mods pretty much have been updated now. Still a little bit of lag. Ooh, let's slow down. Wendy's hamburger. Just about our, our drop here. On that board back there, the Wendy's hamburger back there. Okay, where's the eggs? Uh, oh, we missed it. Went too far. All right, well, they want it. Normal place.
Okay, we're probably gonna hit. Now we need to straighten up this. I don't have a camera yet, guys, for Tracker R. Or I wouldn't be doing it this way. Alright, so we drove exit. We drove 318 miles. Took us 5 hours, 51 minutes to get here. We assume 43.5 gallons of fuel. What do we want to pick up here? We're in New Mexico. Okay, here we go. All right, guys, that's going to be it for the uh, truck today. But we're going to show you the truck and everything in the garage and all your options and everything before we end the video. So, so we go here. National. Okay. So the truck comes with... um. Why did it go to Kenworth? No, I don't. I want an international. Okay, we're gonna have to go to the other way. Do it the other way. Do it this way. I haven't unlocked the international dealership. That's what it is. Alright. So, the truck comes with a day cab. Yep, you have a day cab option here. It comes with uh, it comes with a 56 inch high rise sleeper and a 73 inch high rise sleeper. That's your 56 inch and your 73. Okay, it comes with um, chassis options from a six by four. All the way down to a 6x4, 280 wheelbase, 600 gallon, or 280 gallon get fuel tank. Would be this. You also have, um. You have a push. We give you the extra wheel. Alright. So the engines, you, it starts. It's a Cummins ISX Energy 400. They're all uh, Energy Cummins ISX engines, from 400 horsepower all the way up to 605. This is the one we're running in ours right now. The uh, Cummins ISX 15 Performance um, 605. The performance picks up around uh, 525 horsepower. Then you have. Um, 10 speed transmissions, Eaton Fullers, have some Allison's in there. There's, a, there's another Allison transmission, a six, uh, six speed, another six speed. That's a six speed. That's probably like automatics, I would say. Not positive. That's probably like an automatic. You have one interior. Uh, like I said, don't know if it's going to be more added to it. You have uh, quite a few paint schemes here. Black, blue. 
burgundy, dark blue, gray, white, yellow. Um, it comes with some preloaded colors that he has thrown in. You have uh, quite a few options for this truck. You have two different types of bumpers. You have the oversized load. You have uh, you can get it with the fog lights without. Uh, two grills, a chrome grill, which I did not know. Uh, two different types of mirrors. You want in flags. Um, you have up here. You have like three different sun visors. That's one no sun visor. That's one two different types. Like a brush guard there. You have your side lighting. Doors. You have chrome mirrors. Painted mirrors. Standard mirrors. You have three different types of tanks. Aluminum. Chrome. Painted. Uh, this truck is also so uh, he did support this truck for all the DLC, the um, holocaust, uh, like the logging and all that. It, it, it does have support for that. It has support for the um, it's just out of add on accessory pack. All that has been is supportive of this truck. Um, this is uh, all your tires, lots of a bunch of different tires. You have all the regular rims are fit on it. So here is your inside. As you see, it has all the where well, you can do your accessories here. All the uh, SCS add-on stuff works for the truck. As you see here, all the little buttons and stuff like that, like that. Well, Alright guys, that's going to be it for the video with a, with a new uh, new truck that's come out by Harvard, the International HX520 2022 model. And it is on the workshop for anyone that wants to download it. And he's also posted it on some mod sites I've seen over there. So, thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and have a good day.